Yo, welcome back to Let's Build the Ultimate Indoor Theme Park. Name's Attacking Toucans, and this video is gonna be one of those videos that continues getting better as we go further into it, because the construction, it just gets cooler and cooler. So currently, we're all the way up here on the top of the hill that we built over the station of our RMC coaster. We have a little chicken shack up here and an area for people to hang out and eat their food, and it connects up to the main path over on the entrance. And right now we're just decorating, trying to build more structures, blend everything in. We're gonna place some bushes and trees. And I'm trying to keep an equal balance between buildings and structures and nature. The two balance each other out really well, especially with this Western theme. Most of these types of buildings were built out in the woods in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, I hope you're all having a good day. Hope you're all staying busy, staying fulfilled, staying fed, and staying creative. You know, it's good to have creative outlets. I personally have a lot of creative outlets because I feel like it's the only thing that keeps me sane nowadays. If I can even call myself sane. <laughs> but my main creative outlets, let's see. So I like making theme parks, obviously. Virtual theme parks is up there. I like making videos, video editing. I like filming, especially artists and dancers live performances, anything that captures like some sort of significant moment that had a lot of effort put into it artistically. I enjoy video editing, audio engineering. I like singing and rapping myself. I enjoy dancing. Dancing's like my main physical form of creativity. I dabble in a bit of photography, graphic design, and then I don't know if playing video games would be considered a creative hobby. <laughs> But making Let's Plays is something I would consider a creative hobby for sure, because there's a lot of creativity that can go into it. I definitely have a lot of different hobbies, and that's because I have no kids, and I don't have any relationships, so I have a lot of time on my hands. And I gotta do something to fill that time up, you know? One day I would love a relationship and possibly having kids, but at this moment, I do not feel prepared. Like in this economy? Heck no. I do think I would be a very good dad though. I think I'd be a great dad. But the only thing that would stop me from being a great dad is not having enough money to supply for my kids. So that's why I'm not gonna have kids until I have money because I wanna, I gotta be a provider, you know? But when I do eventually have kids, I cannot wait to take them to theme parks and watch them ride roller coasters and rides and do all that fun stuff for their first time. And I'm also really excited to play with certain toys with them, like Legos, Hot Wheels, Lincoln Logs, Kinects, all those like really fun building toys that like I could play right now as an adult, but like they are expensive. Like, have you seen the prices of Legos? It's, it's up there. <laughs> and that's why I'm really thankful for games like Planet Coaster is because I can build things technically way cooler than I could with any of those toys. And the game wasn't that expensive in the long run. I think I paid like $120 for the game and all the DLC, but I've made way more than that back from making these YouTube videos on the game. And I can continue building to my heart's content and share it in the coolest way possible. And if I really wanted that Lego experience, I would probably just play Roblox instead because that game is free and you can do a lot of cool stuff with that too. And on top of that, there's a theme park simulator in Roblox that I don't think is nearly as good as Planet Coaster, but I've seen some people getting crazy views because since I've been uploading a lot more Planet Coaster content, I've been getting recommended Planet Coaster content and Roblox content on my YouTube feed. And some of these Roblox theme park building videos are getting crazy views and I'm like, whoa. And I'm sure it's because Roblox just has a huge following and a ton of kids playing it and it's free, I think. I believe Roblox is a free game, but there's microtransactions within the game to get different stuff. But I guess the best thing about the Roblox theme park is you can go in and run around it with your friends, like an online Minecraft server, which is what I want them to add to Planet Coaster so bad. So maybe that's the reason why that game is getting such crazy views. Hey, maybe I might dabble in some Roblox theme park building as some like one-offs just to see what the game has to offer because maybe the game has some really cool ideas that Planet Coaster could adopt in a sequel. 
All right, next thing we're gonna be building is I'm gonna start constructing a gift shop at the bottom of our Steel Express roller coaster. And we're also going to have a section where guests can get their on-ride photo. We'll have a bunch of TV monitors with a bunch of pictures from on-ride photos. The game doesn't have that built in. We're gonna have to create it ourselves, but it's gonna work. Wait till you see it. And then I wasn't really talking about it, but we also put the roof on top of the pizza pin and I built some train tracks and a train to add even more layers to the scenery in that section of the theme park. I just absolutely love how much control I have over the detail of the things that I get to build. Because whenever I started the ultimate theme park in Planet Coaster, I knew this game had a lot of potential and I had a lot of cool ideas, but after building the ultimate theme park, I got so much practice and then building the tiny park truly made me realize how much I could fit in a small condensed area. So now I get to apply all of that knowledge and I feel like the stuff I'm gonna be able to build in the future is gonna be crazy. So here's the section where the guests can buy their on-ride photos. And right now I just have a Planet Coaster logo on here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of some fake on-ride photos of the guests and then you can upload your own pictures onto these screens. And you can upload your own videos as well, <laughs> which adds a lot of opportunities. And pretty much we're gonna have a fake little on-ride photo section. And building this was really, really simple, but I feel like it's one of those details that really just makes the theme park feel a lot more realistic. And I'm gonna build this for all of the main roller coasters. And I'm building all of this out. We're gonna build a structure around all of this. And this path also connects down to the Inamin Impulse Coaster that we have underground. And that path right there is the path that leads down to it. And we're gonna have a building cover all of this up so it is all blended very nicely together. Next, I'm going to delete this glass here because I wanna open the station up a bit more because I want it to be more noticeable to the people who are inside the dome. The dome needs to be very stimulating. And I, I can't wait to add more coasters to this dome and coaster pit because I have several more rides and coasters planned for this pit. But I'm also trying to add that fine detail because the fine detail is I think what really brings it together. But just realize that we're only getting started. <laughs> it's only up from here. And something else I feel like we need to finally discuss is the name for this theme park. The name that people have been suggesting like crazy, like almost overwhelmingly, and I'd never even brought this name up. But lots of people are suggesting that we call this park the Toucan Headquarters, or Toucan HQ. And that would tie it in with the other theme park we have, the Toucan Kingdom, and keep a similar theme there. And we also have the Tiny Park, and that's named Sapphire City. So that doesn't really connect too much, but maybe we can have some connection to Sapphire City and this theme park. But that will be the common question of the day. What should we name this theme park? Do you guys agree with the suggestion of calling it the Toucan HQ? Or do you have a better name? Let me know in the comments below. This building is looking pretty clean so far. Getting a good frame put in. I think we should start adding more details and some gift shop items inside. Like some food, some clothes, some souvenirs. All that stuff. Get all the necessities. And something else I would like to try to do for this theme park that I have not done yet in Planet Coaster is I wanna try uploading some of my own custom scenery. So if you didn't know, you can actually upload your own 3D models to this game to use as scenery. And there's lots of items already in the Theme Maker's Toolkit, and several stuff we've put in this park already has been from the Theme Maker's Toolkit. But I have personally not added anything yet myself. So that is a goal. I wanna to try to make some custom scenery for this theme park. And that will probably get its own dedicated episode as well, because that'll be very interesting. Another really cool feature they could add to Planet Coaster 2 is the ability to make functional gift shops, where there's different items you can place around a specific area. The guests will go around and take items off of those racks and then go up to a counter and check it out and purchase it to take home. And then if they want to get really technical, they could have one of the staff have to restock the items. Like if you have a t-shirt rack, the t-shirts disappear as the guests take them and it has to be restocked every once in a while. And you can also add more snacks and food stands and different stuff like that 
just to really bring life to different areas because most theme parks have like a lot of just different stands and stuff that are being operated by different people and there's so much potential for more of that. But as we continue detailing out this gift shop, let's talk about last episode's comment question of the day. Last episode I asked what your goal is before the end of this year. This comment said that they want to go to four new theme parks, which sounds awesome. I would also love to go to at least one new theme park before the end of the year. I'm actually going to be at TwitchCon in Las Vegas this year, which is at the end of October. And I know they have some coasters there that I might try to ride. <laughs> this person said they want to finish writing their drama novel trilogy. Which trilogy? That's three books. That's a lot. Good luck with that. That's so cool. Writing books. Such a cool hobby. And if you need anybody to read your audiobook, maybe consider hiring me to be your voice actor. I don't know. Maybe just think about it. This commenter finally got an apartment and they want to fill it up and settle in which I know the flow. It takes a long time to get your living situation set up the way you want it to because it takes a lot of time, effort, and money to buy all the stuff necessary. I've been living in my new house for about five years and there's still stuff I want to consistently do to make it feel more settled in. But you know, it's a process. It's a process, but congratulations on the new place. This person wants to finish learning the tools so they can make an Ocarina of Time ROM hack, which I love that goal. I love Ocarina of Time ROM hacks. So much fun. I still need to finish my Let's Play of Nimpai's Adventure, which is the ROM hack I'm playing right now. It's been so much fun though. If you haven't seen my Let's Play of Ocarina of Time, Nimpai's Adventure, so much fun. The dungeons have been so challenging and the game has so much charm. And I hope you get to make some amazing ROM hacks. And this bowl of ramen wants to start their own YouTube channel before the end of the year which I heavily encourage. I think starting a YouTube channel is one of the most beneficial and rewarding hobbies you can have in the modern day. The amount of self-growth you get to experience and the amount of people you meet through doing so is just off the charts. But goal setting's good. I hope everybody achieves all of their goals. I'm rooting for you. And the whole entire two clan is as well. So good luck everybody. And can I just take a second and just say I'm really happy with the way all of this is turning out. This is looking so cool in my opinion and I love the flow of it. And a part of me also wants to go back to the ultimate theme park and add these on-ride photo sections. Like I, I should make a couple extra bonus episodes of let's build the ultimate theme park and add some extra stuff. That's definitely gonna happen, I just decided. Also, if you're wondering why the coasters are all red tracked right now, because I changed the colors so they would pop more when I was taking some pictures for thumbnails because the red just like stood out way more than other colors. I plan to change them all back in the future, but for now I didn't really care. I kind of like the red anyways. It's it's vivid and definitely having a great time with these wooden beams. You can do a lot with these bad boys. One of my favorite items to be adding details in this western section. But with that, we are wrapping up the building for today. Of course, we still have more details we can add, but we can only do so much each day. We'll come with a fresh mind. The one item I didn't talk about that I placed is that snack machine that has the flavored sugar and you use it to fill the tubes and it's like giant pixie sticks. I see those in so many Six Flags and Cedar Fair parks and I was like, yes, we gotta put one of these in the gift shop. It's a staple. I really hope you all enjoy the episode. Progress is being made, and next episode, we're about to do some major renovations to the overall building in general. We're going to be making some major headway, less attention to detail, and more focus on the big picture next episode. Appreciate you for making it this far. Before you click on the next video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps a ton. You're awesome, and I hope you have a fantastic day.